Hi folks, John Sebastian. Welcome back to the Bearsville Theater. It's undergone a remarkable change, all due to a wonderful gal named Lizzie Van, who I'd like you to meet. Welcome to Bearsville Theater. Bearsville as a destination was created by Albert Grossman in the 1960s. Albert's vision was to create a utopia for the musicians that he managed. He wanted somewhere that they could come out of the city, up into the mountains, the streams, the forests, and be as creative as possible. So he made it very comfortable for them. He built houses, restaurants, a recording studio, a record label, and right at the end, this beautiful theater. Unfortunately, Albert wasn't here to see it completed. He passed away and his widow, Sally Grossman, finished it and opened it to the public in 1989. Albert's vision was that the theater would be a wonderful place where the music industry would come and see his artists being showcased. So it has a large lounge, big bar, a small auditorium compared to the size of the stage, which is quite high and wide, which is very intimate. You really get up close to the artists, you can see them and it's a very special place. When I bought it exactly 30 years later, it was in a little sorry state. It had gone through a whole winter of no electricity and burst pipes and water coming through the ceiling. And uh, so we've spent the last 13 months renovating it. Bearsville has a wonderful history. Albert's artists were Bob Dylan, Richie Havens, Janis Joplin, Todd Rundgren, the band, Peter, Paul and Mary, Odetta, you know, the list goes on and on. Some of Albert's artists recorded here at Bearsville Studios or put albums out through Bearsville Records. The band, uh, Richie Havens, uh, Jesse Winchester, it's a long list and they would come down at the end of a long day and eat at the Bear Cafe or the Little Bear, which were two restaurants that Albert created. Generally, this was a very communal area where people enjoyed producing music. It's only in the later years that the public has really got involved with this, and uh, now everything is open to the public. So here we are in the heart of the theatre, the stage and the auditorium area, where we can comfortably seat over 400 people. We blended contemporary mid-century modern architecture with the feel, the style of old-fashioned British music halls. So we've got velvet drapes, we've got gold fringes, gold men, art deco lighting, and at the back we can change the colour of these back drapes, any colour you like. We've also got four beautiful crystal chandeliers. Hi, John. It's good to, good to see you today. It's great you, to have you here. You've been working like a maniac every day. And <laughs> this months. behind us is such a wonderful assembly. Well, we say that these are the musicians that made Woodstock the most famous small town in America. One of my favorite songwriters, Jesse Winchester, NRBQ. <laughs> these are the guys who put in the time. Yeah, this yeah. is who you'd be seeing if you stayed up till four in the morning in Woodstock. <laughs> and of course, George Harrison just casually reading a book because he did stop by. My vision is for Bearsville Theatre to rise again like a phoenix so that artists can come here to the heart of the Catskill Mountains and create, perform, rehearse, record their music. So thank you, John. Thank you for coming in. It's such an honor to have you here and it was so great to hear your memories. I've really enjoyed having all my old pals on the wall here and... and? We'll, we'll see, see you, you at the Bearsville Theatre.